here's the process, okay? We've got, uh, we've had hardwood coals going on here, or hardwood in the form of oak and a little bit of hickory and locust going for a couple hours. The rocks that are lying in the pit um, are probably about two to three inches high and they're fitting really, really tight. The rocks are really hot right now. But you, you look in the pit and you see we have big chunks of wood. Anything that will not break into smaller charcoal, uh, we have to remove. And since we're going to fire up and build this rock oven, we might as well just pick it up and move it into there. When that's done, I'm going to take uh, that lid over there and I'm going to fan it a little bit. I want to try to raise the temperature up. And then very quickly, and this has to be done quickly because things start to cool off. The more heat, the better. You can't overdo it. The real beauty of steam pit cooking is that you can't overcook it. You can literally put it in the ground and go off for the better part of a day and come back and dig it up and your food's ready for you. Perfect, perfect system and it's ancient. It's been around for thousands of years, I'm certain of it. So once we get this out, I'm going to fan it to get it kind of hot again. You can see all the food there. We have Cornish game hens, uh, whole bulbs of garlic, uh, butternut squash, sweet potatoes, carrots, even some tomatoes. I've never put tomatoes in there before, but we're going to give that a try too, the real small ones. Then we're going to put very quickly, this has to be loaded really quickly, it's going to be a little frantic, but we're going to put just a thin layer of grass on the coals, probably no more than about an inch, and then the food goes in. You figure that the Cornish game hens are um, have to cook the longest, so we'll stick those toward the middle, and even along the middle we'll probably put the butternut squash as well and the rest of the stuff will just get filled in. Sweet potatoes are pretty hard and so are butternut squash, but surprisingly they cook really well. You'd think that they wouldn't cook in that, but they do. When we dig it up, if those rocks were hot enough, everything should be cooked perfect. There's always a few cold spots, but I've never had a problem with uh, cooking poultry. I've cooked poultry in as little as three hours, but mm, let's do four just to be safe, right? And this will be the grand finale to the class. We'll have this big feast um, before we break camp and, um, you know, go about our ways and teach others about the beauty of nature. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. So um, if, if someone could help me grab some of these big chunks out here, whatever doesn't break up with the shovel you want to remove, and we'll just place it over here since we're going to fire this up anyway. <laughs> 